Welcome back to the Grown Women's Table. Hey, 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 it's your girl Lori. I hope you guys are having a great day. You guys, we are going to talk about my top five eyeshadow palettes of 2001. And I'm going to rank them. And we're going to talk about Dossier. So if you want to see that, you know what you need to do, right? Keep on watching. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. Y'all, but first, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit the subscription button. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Please make sure your notification bells are on and follow your girl at It's Lori's Life on Instagram. Y'all, before we get into this video, we're going to be talking about Dossier because you guys are partners with Dossier again. And for those that don't know, let me just show you the packaging. This is how your package would come. Now, Dossier is a fragrance company company that makes fragrance that are inspired by luxury and high-end fragrances. And you guys, on your bottle, you will receive the name of the fragrance. You'll receive the notes. They start at $29. And y'all, you're able to get perfumes that cost $100 a bottle for $29 a bottle. Now, if you pick up, once you, you know, pick up a fragrance and you're like, mm, I don't know if I like this, you can send it back. So that's, that's something you don't have to worry about, especially when you buy like blind purchases, especially with fragrances, you do have the option to send it back if you don't like. But let me tell you what I have and what I selected and we're going to talk about it, okay? All right, this fragrance that I picked up is called Powdery orange flower and it is inspired by the valentino it's voce viva voce viva and you guys pff, smell so good let me tell you the notes and then i'm gonna tell you a little story let me put on some glasses so i can see hold on hold hold please okay now the top notes are mandarin, um, bar bar bergamot, and ginger. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. The middle notes are orange flower, white flower, and gardenia. Base notes are vanilla, toka bees, and musk. You guys, this smells so good. So um, I have been waiting for this to come in the mail. And so once it came in the mail, my brother was here and I was like, oh, well, let, me, let me see if you could tell the difference. So I actually have a sample of it, right? and then of what it's inspired by. And then I have the dossier, which is called Powdery Orange Flower. Spray one on each arm. Actually, no, I didn't spray one on each arm. No, we did. We sprayed them in the box. That's what we did. And so he smelled the first one. He's like, man, they smell just alike. I mean, he was very impressed. And this is my younger brother who is into um, colognes and stuff like that. So he was very impressed. So I'm quite sure he's going to be picking up him a couple of bottles of these as well. Cause I was telling him about the other men fragrances that they have. So you guys, this has a very, Ooh, cistric. You can smell the orange. I can smell it's a flowery scent. It's a powdery scent. Now, one thing I did notice when I first sprayed it on, like, let me spray. And, and you guys, the sprayers are really good also. Let me see if you can see that. You see that? Mm. So when I first spray it on, it's a little strong. It is a little strong. But as it dries down, it tones that tones down some. And you can definitely smell... I guess it's a floral scent and I can definitely smell the mandarin and the gardenia in this. So you guys, I wore it to work. I've worn it actually several times, but I've worn it to work. I wore it to work last night just to refresh my memory. And I want to say it gave me a good six hours. Like I could smell it really good for a good six hours. And it's a very light, like when it, when I first sprayed it, it was like, a little strong but once it dries it became really it's a light scent really light scent it smells amazing it's not offensive it's not really strong where when you walk past somebody you be like whoo they put on too much no, it's very it's light and sexy it's a light sexy scent so if you have not tried out dossier you definitely need to try them out i will put a discount code in the description box where you'll be able to get 10 percent off so definitely try that out, you guys. This is my second one, 
and I am impressed. I am truly impressed with these scents. So instead of spend, paying, I think this the, this one is what one hundred dollars, because you get a one point seven fluid ounce, you guys. So you're getting a nice amount of product, and I think the original, what it's inspired by, is a hundred dollars, twenty nine dollars, you guys. So. You can't beat this. You can't beat it at all. But you guys, make sure you try them out, all right? Number five is the ABH Norvina Number 5 Palette. Y'all, let me show you. You already know why I love this palette. If you guys know what the palette looks like, you already know why your girl love it. But let me let you see what it looks like on the inside. Isn't that a beautiful palette, y'all? Beautiful palette. You see you got a bunch of purple, so that was right up my alley. And this is actually my very first Norvina palette. I haven't purchased any of her other palettes, but when this one came out, I was like, okay, I think I'm going to have to pick this one up. The formula is really, really, really good. It's very pigmented. Like, it lasts all day. I haven't had any issues with it when I wear it. As you, if you can look and see, I've, I've been wearing it. I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite shades. So, I got B5, which is one of my favorite shades, and D3. So, I'm just going to do two shades because I don't want to be here swatching all day. Okay, y'all. My two favorite shades out of the palette are B5 and D3. Aren't those beautiful? Y'all know I love me some purple. And this, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, number five is Norvina, number five. Number four is Natasha Denona Circo Loco, y'all. Oh, I want to say this probably is one of the palettes that I think I was most excited about this year. When I saw the sneak peeks of this palette, I was like, oh, snaps. I know I got to have this. One thing I would say about Natasha Denona, she give everybody a little something. Like, it don't matter if you're into neutrals, warms, cools, colors, whatever. She's going to give everybody a little something. And this palette was so much fun to me. This was just a fun palette but one thing i would say about this you know i have some colorful palettes in my collection but i feel like this one right here is a grown woman's colorful palette you know what i'm saying because you know sometimes those colorful palettes just be so the colors just just like too bright and just out of this what these are very rich to me i feel like these are some very they're colorful but yet they're still rich you guys see what i'm saying if you agree with me, put it in the comment section and let me know. Is this like a grown woman's colorful palette to you? Y'all, I love this palette. And the two fav my two favorite shades out of this palette are, ooh, I love, and they're, are they, yeah, Act and Fig. Hold on. Okay, so this right here is Act and this one is Fig. Aren't these beautiful? And you see what I mean? They're colorful, but they've got some depth to them. There's some richness to them. Very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My number three is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Smoky Eyes Are Forever eyeshadow palette. And you guys, oh, this is her holiday palette. Look at that. Now, let me tell you why I love this palette. When I did my review on this palette, I kept saying, boy, I really like this palette. Boy, I really like this palette. And then I realized I have a purple section, an orange section, and a green section. And those are like three of my favorite colors when it comes to eyeshadow. So I was like, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. And I was so happy that I was like, okay, you can do a good pretty purple, a good pretty orange, a good pretty green. All right, I'm here for this palette. Now, my favorite section in this palette is the happy eyes. I'm gonna show them to you. This orange section right here, that is my favorite section out of the palette. The oranges are so pretty. It's a vis, I'm gonna make sure you can really see it. But that's my favorite section. So that is my number three. 
All right, y'all, number two is by Mother Pat, and it's the Utopian Dream Palette. You guys, I was super duper excited when this palette came out. This is a gorgeous palette. I know it was a lot of people disappointed with this palette, but I really, 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 really love this palette. It is absolutely stunning. And actually, my three favorite colors are Astro Amethyst Moon and Bliss Sextrum, Sextreme and Shockwave. Those are my favorite shades out the palette. And as you can see, I've been putting some work, 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 work. I really, really love this palette. Now, before we get to my, our, my number one palette, because I know y'all cannot, y'all don't know what in the world my number one palette is, but I have to put in an honorary mention of this palette. This palette came out in 2020, but I have been wearing the heck out of this palette, so I could not do my favorite palettes and not add it. So this is an honorary mention, and it's what I'm wearing today. This is the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. You guys, let me show you what it looks like. This palette right here, if you are a neutral lover, oh, this is my go-to work palette right here. I absolutely love this palette. And you can do some nice brown gold, but you also do some beautiful mauve looks. So you guys, I had to tell you about this palette. If you have not picked this palette up, it's a must have in your collection. Now, number one, number one, number one, number one. Here we go, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Here we go. All right, y'all, my number one pick is by Natasha Denona. And it's the Retro Palette. Let you see what it look like. Y'all, isn't that a beautiful palette? When I saw this palette, I was salivating. Like, I was like, oh, I gotta have it. Y'all, this is a beautiful palette. Okay, when I first saw it, some of the swatches and pictures looked a little lighter, and so and some looked darker. So I was like, oh, I really hope that they're darker. So when I got it and it was darker, I was extremely, extremely pleased. And you guys, this is right. This color story is right up my alley. I love me burgundies, mauves. I love these type of looks. And you can get some really nice all matte looks. I can get some one and done looks. The shimmers are beautiful in this palette. I love this taupey color. It's called Jade. Oh, Y'all, this is one of my favorite shades. Do you see that? Do you see that? That is a beautiful taupey it's got it's a taupe with a little bit of rose in it and i love to wear it like a one and done oh my god and then rebellion is a beautiful dark color let me swatch it too so you could that's one of my favorites that's rebellion you guys so pretty i love it for the outer portion of my eye those two together are really pretty very pretty and then this shade here, I don't know I got a shadow. That one right here is psychedelic. Ugh, do y'all see that? Absolutely stunning. I really, really, really love this palette. And I wore it a lot, a lot this year. And I am so, so happy that I have it in my collection. I feel like it's a palette that you can get a day look, you can get night looks, you can wear this in the summer, winter, fall, spring, I mean, all year long. It is a perfect palette. And if you're my skin tone, oh my God, the colors really do show up to you on your skin. Like the colors that I see in the pan translates that way onto the lid. And so I just love this palette. So this is my number one palette of 2021. And I must say also, this is just a little bonus extra, but the Natasha Denona liners, this is her burgundy liner that I use with this palette. Y'all, these, these Natasha Denona liners are fire. Do you hear me? I use, as a matter of fact, I used it today, um, but this liner paired with this palette, baby. Uh, she cute, she cute, cute. Now, I want to say one more thing before I get off of here. And you guys might have noticed, in my top five, two of the palettes were from Natasha Denona. And I'm just going to have to say it. 2021, Natasha Denona did her thing. 
period. Like, if I would have did a top 10, it would have been a, at least two more of her, one mini and one more of her $65 pan. I don't know if this is whatever size pan this is. Palette could have been in my top 10. Natasha Denona really did an amazing job this year with her releases and eyeshadow palettes. And in the comment section, let me know what brand do you feel like, like, killed it this year when it came to eyeshadow i'm really curious to got to see what you guys have to say but y'all that is it i'm about to get out of here um yeah that's it so don't forget to check out dossier y'all oh, smells so good this is a beautiful scent smells so good i will leave the discount code in my description box and if there's any of these palettes that you might want to pick up, I'll leave a Sephora link. There will be an affiliate link in the description box as well. So that's just a way of supporting the channel. I will get a little bit of a kickback, but girl, shop how you normally shop. If, this, if you don't want to do that, I totally understand. But that is it. So to all my new subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, girl, hit that button so that I can save you a seat at the Grown Women's Table. And until the next video, bye-bye, ladies. Or looking for an idea just to get some tips, you can get that right here. This is Lori's life, yeah. This is Lori's life, yeah. Check out Lori's life, yeah. This is Lori's life.